Are you ready for Bible class? Welcome, Kitty. He was supposed to be here by now. Welcome, Kitty. Hey, has anybody seen Welcome, Kitty? I can't find him anywhere. Where did he go? Are you being sneaky? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bible class. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bible class. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Bible class. Hey, did you bring your angry face? Uh, hey, don't be angry. Did you bring your pensive face? Hey, I don't even know what that means. Did you bring your, hey, I didn't ask for a silly face yet. Did you bring your happy face? Happy, 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 happy. We sing such happy songs. Who are you? What is your name? Welcome, Kitty. Do you know who that is? Who is that? Oh, a turtle. He's being rude. Why doesn't he answer my questions? Oh, turtles can't talk. Well, we're glad you're here. We sing such happy songs. La, 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 la. Like good friends should and do. La, 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 la. Happy times are fun to share. La, 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 la with good friends just like you. La, 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 la. Calm down, welcome, Kitty. He gets excited when we come to Bible class. Hey, we're glad you came to Bible class. I've got a question. How many are you? Can you hold up how many fingers you are? Are you this many? Who's this many? Are you? This many? Oh, okay. Is anyone this many? Okay. How about this many? Is there anybody that's this many? Hey, there's some of you who don't have enough fingers, but we're glad you're here. Welcome to Bible class. I want to find out who came, but before we do that, we want to welcome everybody. What do we normally use to welcome people to Bible class? Let's see. Well, we have a fuzzy tennis ball. Hmm. Is that what we normally use? Or we've got, oh, we've got the spiky tomato. Hmm. Which one should we use? The fuzzy tennis ball or the spiky? Spiky tomato. I think we normally use the spiky tomato. Are you ready? Are you nervous? Hey, don't be nervous. God is glad that everyone came. Everyone came. Everyone came. God is glad that everyone came. You came to Bible class. Yay! We're so glad you're in Bible class. Let's see who came. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Did they come? Did they come? Come to Bible class. Come to Bible class. peek a -boo. There you are. All right. Today, we're going to need to use our super powerful pretend binocular sunglasses to see who came to Bible class. Okay. Who do I see? I see McCoy and Benjamin and Drake and Tanner. I see Adeline and Balin and Kendallin and Jada. I see Parker and Daxton. <gasps> Who else do I see? I see Taylor and Lydia and Haven and Grayson and Carter and Chubbs. 
Welcome to Bible class. Who else is here? Well, I see Gemma and Winston and Sophie, Baylor and Baker, Lennon and Tiana, Lincoln, Jonah, Eve. I see David, Joseph, Danielle, Allie, Hannah Beth, Ezra, Colliana, Maggie, James, Kaylin, Elise. I see Gwenny and Gideon and Luna and Addie. I see Campbell and Sage, Hannah, Otto, Melody, Evelyn, Eden, Cade. I see Phoebe, Joshua, Cohen, Piper, Laurel, Quinn, Marin, Eleanor, Elliot. I see Adley, Brody, Ellery, Harper, Witt, Grant, Alex, Emma, Cubby. I see Bo, Caroline, Anna, Corlew, Malachi, Luke, Lydia. I see Chloe, Kinsley, Abigail, Ryder, Shepherd. Hey, Shepherd, that cast looks pretty cool. I see Tucker and Callaway. I see Robin and Olivia and Joey and Josephine. Aria, Asher, Silas, Jace, Ari, Bonnie, Avon, Brennan, Tate, Albie, and I think I see Reuben. Welcome to Bible class, everyone. We glad, we're glad that you could join us today. Good old Noah built an ark like God told him to. And on that ark, he had a kangaroo, like God told him to, with a, hmm, what does a kangaroo say? What? What do you mean it's not a kangaroo? That, oh, I mean a sheep, a baby sheep. What do you call a baby sheep? Uh, a lamb. What does a lamb say? With a, Oh, that's not right. What does a lamb say? With a ba here and a ba there. Good old Noah built an ark like God told him to. And on that ark, he had a koala. Like, a, you're not a koala. Hmm. A puppy dog. That's what I meant to say. What does a puppy dog say? With a bark, bark here and a bark. No, that's not right. With a ruff, ruff here and a ruff, ruff there. Good old Noah built an ark like God told him to. And on that ark, he had a worm like God told him. You're not a worm. A chicken, a rooster, a duck. With a cock a doodle doo. No, that's not what a duck says. With a quack quack here and a quack quack there. Good old Noah built an ark like God told him to. Hey, how did you get to Bible class? Did anybody ride a motor scooter? Anybody? Did anybody ride a pony? Did you ride a pony to Bible class? Did anybody ride the gospel chariot to Bible class? Hey, let's sing the gospel chariot song. <gasps> Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. And we won't tag along behind. If a brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If a sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If a sinner's in the way, we will stop and pick them up. And we won't tag along behind. But if the devil's in the way, we will row right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will row right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will row right over him. And we won't tag along behind. Hey, 
Did you bring your little brown box to Bible class? I wish I had a little brown box to put my family in. I'd take them out and mm -mm -mm, and put them back again. I wish I had a little brown box to put the devil in. I'd take him out and mm -mm -mm, and put him back again. I wish I had a little brown box to put my Jesus in. I'd take him out and mm -mm -mm, and share him with my friends. Okay, I know we're giving the devil a hard time today, but he gives us a hard time. Right, so what did everybody have for dinner? Did you have dinner before you came to Bible class? Did anybody have chips for dinner? Who had chips for dinner? Anybody? Did anybody have French fries for dinner? Who had French fries for dinner? Anybody? Did anyone have mashed potatoes for dinner? Who had mashed potatoes for dinner? Boy, that's a lot of starches. What do we need to do after we have dinner? Did you bring your pretend tush brush? This is the way we brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth to come to Bible class. Okay, let me see your teeth. Oh, how pretty and handsome. Uh-oh. You've got toothpaste on your face. Hmm. Now what are we going to do? If only we had something with which to wash our face. <gasps> oh, but look. This is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face to come to Bible class. Oh, how handsome and pretty and cleaned up. Oh, no. Now your hair is messed up. Hmm. Now what are we going to do? If only we had something with which to comb our hair. Oh, but look, this is the way we comb our hair, comb our hair, comb our hair. This is the way we comb our hair to come to Bible class. Oh, look at you all cleaned up and handsome and pretty and coming to Bible class. We are so glad that you are here. Did you happen to bring your little Christian light? This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time. Let it shine, oh yes. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine. Hey, sorry if I scared you. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No! I'm going to let it shine, let it shine all the time. Let it shine, oh yes. I won't let Satan <laughs> it out. I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let Satan <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. I won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time. Let it shine, oh yes. All around the neighborhood. I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine all the time. Let it shine, oh yes. The Bible, the Bible, I love the Bible. It is God's word. I will be careful when I turn the pages. It is God's word. I won't tear it, I won't tear it, it is God's word. I won't throw it, I won't throw it, it is God's word. Today, our Bible story comes from Luke chapter 19. And it's about a man named Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was a wee little man. He was quite short. Now, I realize you're short too, but you're going to keep growing. Zacchaeus was already grown up. 
and he really wanted to see Jesus, but there were so many people in the crowd trying to see Jesus, and Zacchaeus couldn't see over their heads. So he climbed up in a tree, and then he saw Jesus. Well, as Jesus was coming along, he looked up in that tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there. I'm going to your house today. Well, Zacchaeus did what Jesus said. He came down from the tree and he invited Jesus to his house. And he was so impressed by Jesus and what Jesus taught. He decided that he was going to change his life. Because you see, Zacchaeus hadn't been very nice. He was a tax collector. And he was stealing money with, from people. He was taking more money than he should have and keeping it for himself. But because of Jesus, Zacchaeus decided that he was going to be nice and help the poor and give back the money that he stole from other people. And he would even give them more money. Well, that made Jesus happy because... People were wondering why Jesus would go into a tax collector's house. But Jesus knew that Zacchaeus had a good heart. and He just needed to be taught what to do right. And so Zacchaeus, his life was changed because of Jesus. And he became a better person. Zacchaeus was a wee little man. A wee little man was he. He climbed up in the sycamore tree, the Savior he wanted to see. And as the Savior walked along, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there because I'm going to your house today because I'm going to your house today. Hey, are you ready to do a project? Well, you'll need a piece of paper and some crayons. And guess what our project is going to be? We're going to trace our hand. Now you're going to need to get someone to help you because that's the nice thing to do. But today this is going to go along with our Bible lesson. So if you can get someone to help trace your hand, you need to be very still. I know you want to be wiggly. But try to be very still as we trace around our fingers. And we want to get all the fingers because we're going to need all of our fingers on the page to do our project. All right, come down and go around our thumb. All right, I about got it. There we go. We've traced our hands. And guess what we're going to make? We're going to make the tree that Zacchaeus climbed so that he could see Jesus. So this is going to be the trunk of the tree right here. So we're going to color that brown. All right, does that look like the trunk of a tree? And we want to add some more branches. And we'll assume that this tree had leaves on it. So we want to color the leaves on the tree. And that's the tree that was in our story. But there's one thing missing. Zacchaeus. We need to put Zacchaeus in the tree. So we're going to draw his head and his body and his arms and his feet and his eyes. And he's going to have a big smile on his face because he got to be with Jesus. Now, one more thing about our story. You see, long before Zacchaeus climbed that tree in order to see Jesus, God had already planted that tree and caused that tree to grow so that when Zacchaeus needed it to see Jesus, 
God had already provided it. So there's a lesson for us. God knows what we need long before we realize it. And whenever we have something that's in our best interest, God provides it for us. And like Zacchaeus, once we come to know Jesus, he helps us to be a better person. He helps us to be happy and nice. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves all of us. And how do we know that? The Bible tells me so. God is listening. God is listening. When we pray, when we pray, bow our heads politely, close our eyes so tightly, talk to God, talk to God. Dear God, thank you for Bible class and thank you for all these precious little children. We thank you for looking out for us and providing for our needs. We thank you for Jesus who helps us to be better boys and girls. We thank you for our family. We thank you for our church. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, we're glad you came to Bible class. And remember, be happy and nice. We love you. Bye-bye.